Hey, Heidi here, and I'm gonna teach you a very simple project with a magnolia bowl. So we're gonna be using some stencils and a really cool magnolia bowl. So if you've never painted on one before, let me know as soon as you get on. I would love to know if you have done this before or not. This will be my first time, so this could go real good or this could go real south. So <laughs> I just wanna say good morning and how are you? I'm actually obviously not in my home studio. Um, my art studio, so I wanted to just come to you and uh, remind you we have a few more days if you want to be a part of Paint Party Headquarters. Um, the doors close on Tuesday night at midnight, and then we don't open them again until spring of 2020. So if you want to be a part of it, oh good, okay great. We um, I had Tamara, she's awesome, she came in and helped me connect to the Wi-Fi or whatever. Usually Bobby does that stuff, so... I get a little confused. <laughs> All right, so we should be good to go. Um, and I'm gonna teach you just a really simple, um, just a really simple stenciling technique. And if you have not purchased these stencils before, Essential Stencil, you can use coupon code Texas Heidi, and um, that will give you a discount. It doesn't cost you any more, but it helps provide me with coffee. I know a lot of y'all have said, how do you keep going 100 miles an hour? Lots of coffee, so I appreciate it. So use coupon code Texas Heidi for Essential Stencil. And then I'm gonna show you how to do a very simple thing. So what I wanna do is try to stencil marshmallows on top of that. And we have Dee Dee on here. She says, hey Dee Dee, it'll be awesome. Dee Dee, thank you. I need the um, I need the reassurance right now because I have never painted on one of these. So it could go south. It could. We're not real sure yet how this is gonna go. Yes, Glenda, this is something I'm just kinda making up right now as I do this. I have it in my head how I want it to look. But like I said, it could totally go south. Um, so we're gonna try this, okay? So I wanna use a stencil to get the marshmallows on here. And then after I do that, I'm gonna paint a couple of fall leaves using another stencil. Again, I wanna show you that when you teach paint parties, it's not just about doing a canvas. It could be ceramics. It could be, again, an online paint party. I know we've had a lot of discussions um, this week about, you know, well, what if in my area I can't do in person? We've talked a lot about online paint parties. We've talked about ceramics. Um, let me know in the comments things that you have taught. And let's see, I've never stenciled on a bowl. I know, this is my first time too. Ooh, so excited. Hey, Natalie, good morning. Hey, Kathy. She says, I painted the pumpkins with the crow. Didn't look the same, but close. Oh, that's okay. You can totally do something that's not exact. Actually, if you're a part of the fall ball, um, you, can be a part of the contest and part of that is being creative and we have remember we have that seven hundred dollars worth of prizes that may be given away on tuesday so i'm really really excited for y'all all of y'all that have been entering that and um, and what was our our whole theme during that do you remember what was our that me and bobby kept yelling out does anybody remember it was so much fun and thank y'all so much for those y'all that attended that um, if you like that and you had fun at the fall ball and you want to keep the party going, um, at Paint Party Headquarters. That's where you're going to see me often. You know, this past week I've been on live a lot, but usually what happens is we open the doors to Paint Party Headquarters, you know, twice a year, and then all our energy goes straight back to Paint Party Headquarters so we can make sure that you are making a profit every party at your paint parties. Um, so Rachel says, where do we get the bowls for parties? Um, that's a great question. So once I have this painted, if it turns out okay, even if it doesn't, I'm gonna do a post inside of Paint Party Headquarters and let you know where I got the bowl. So you can buy the bowl at a, at a lower price. Um, inside too as well, and if you have any questions for me, y'all let me know. Inside of Paint Party Headquarters, we have all that information as far as like where to get stuff for wholesale, um, how to do you know your parties where you're not putting out a bunch of money first. And then a lot of people, you know, we talked about the stages the other day, and this is a very important part. You gotta have your pinky really up high. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that, but I can't move it. <laughs> if I move it right now, I'm gonna be in trouble. Um, so I gotta keep it, you just keep it like a hook. I don't know why it's doing that. It's just happening. <laughs> and I'm gonna go with it because I don't wanna drop this. I feel like this is a two person project. Let me concentrate, I'm gonna concentrate. Oh my gosh. I'm almost at the W. Okay, and the reason I am doing a stencil like this instead of freehanding is I just want the basic down. And again, I am doing a stencil on a curved part. 
Glenda says, we are artists amongst artists. Yes, we are. Oh my gosh, I, I love that. Um, I love that story so much with, with that golfer. It was so funny. Oh my gosh, so funny. Um, if you missed the story, I'll tell you the story really quick. Um, but me and Pixie were sitting outside and we were, we were drinking our coffee. Let's see. Okay, so it got most of it, but I'm going to go over it a little bit. So it got most of it on there where I want it, but I'm gonna actually kind of go over it. Oh, let me see, I have you, I have you backwards. So let me see if I can switch it while I'm live. There we go. Okay. Oh, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it, Evie? Okay, so now it's that way. So I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit. And, oh, I got paint on my shorts. They're white, it matches. Um, okay, so, me and Pixie were outside and we were drinking. Um, I'm just going to clean this up with a um, liner brush. Oh, thank you. I definitely need some grace on this one because I've never painted on a wood magnolia bowl. Um, so me and Pixie were drinking coffee the other morning and um, we live on a golf course. Like right behind us is a little golf course area. And so we had this guy, we were sitting there and this guy came by and he had a bad shot. So he's literally just like, he said the F, word, the F word more than I've ever heard it. And that's a lie. I've heard it a lot. But he, he said the F word a whole lot. And I was like, oh my gosh. I mean, he was just so upset. And he was just, you know, blankety blank, 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 like going crazy. He was like so mad. He was hitting the, the ground, all of that kind of crazy stuff. Oh, thank you so much. And, um, and then about five minutes later, this other group comes by. And me and Pixie are still just drinking our coffee. And all of a sudden we hear this guy yell and he's excited. And one of the friends like, go, you know, the guy has his arms victoriously in the air. And one of the friends goes, you're a man amongst men. And he's yelling and cheering for this guy. And then Pixie looks over at me and she goes, mama, he barely hit it. And we started laughing so hard. And so I started thinking, I was like, oh my gosh, like they are having basically the exact same motions, right? They're both going through the same motions. They're both hitting a golf ball. But I can promise you the second one who was celebrating and, and you know, I'm a man amongst men and blah, blah, blah. Like I can guarantee you that guy is gonna have a much better day. And so the reason I share that with you is, and we were, we kind of had a joke in the fall ball, like you're an artist amongst artists because Here's the deal, you know, we can have these experiences, we can have pretty much the same things happen to us in life, but the way we react, react to them can be totally different. And so um, when you're going through your day, if you notice that you're reacting angry or you're reacting, you know, everything's bad, I'm, this is gonna be a bad day, you know, this is this, like I want you to stop and just throw your arms up in the air victoriously and, and say, I'm an artist amongst artists. And then go for it because there's so many times when we can make a bad situation not so you know there's a lot of crazy things going on in this world and and let's um let's try not to make the little things you know really bad let's like let's try to have the positive on side of things all right so as i go through i just thought that was so funny and now now it's just it's just been in my head i just crack up when i think about that guy and and one of the other things i love about that is um you know, he wasn't apologetic about celebrating his win. <laughs> a lot of times I think is, you know, a lot of y'all watching me are, are females. And I think sometimes we, we um, shy away from celebrating. We shy away from if we did something great, right? And so I think sometimes we need to take um, note of that and be like, it's okay. It's okay to celebrate. It's okay to be happy for something that happens. Um, and then also celebrating, you know, even the small things. Again, finding ways to make life more fun. I think that's the most important part. Okay, so I use this. I think it's gonna happen, y'all. I use my liner brush to kind of go over the stencils. So let me know if that's, that looks okay. And then what I was thinking is it could be really cute to throw marshmallows in there and then have like kind of a fun, me and you know, Pixie wants to have some of her friends over and we're gonna have like a, a fun Halloween party. So I was thinking it might be really cool to have that. And um, let's see, Lisa says, please keep sharing this story because both times the internet went out as you told it. So I keep missing parts of it. <laughs> oh no, hopefully, um, hopefully you can rewind this and see it because I really love that story. I will always be like, you're a man amongst men. You're an artist amongst artists because it just makes me happy. 
makes me happy. Um, and yes, we are. I love that, Evie. Yes, you are, for sure. Um, let's see, we need to pat ourselves on the back once while. Let's just take a moment. Let's pat ourselves on the back. Good job. Good job, Bethany. Good job, Nancy. Good job, Glenda. <laughs> Glenda says, married 38 years today. Gonna celebrate as we um, band-aided him last night, seven years to get him here. Oh, she's laughing. <laughs> well, I'm very, very happy for you. Congratulations on 38 years of marriage. That is insane. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, so um, yeah, find something small to celebrate today. Even if, if it's big, like her 38-year marriage, but find something that you can celebrate. All right, I wanna do one more thing with y'all. And again, I just wanted to come on here, say hello, and remind you that Paint Party Headquarters, we just have a few more days left. Um, if you wanna sign up, this is where I'm gonna teach you everything there is about making money teaching paint parties, either online, in person, or with art kits. So it is the place to be if you need to know anything with that. Um, oh, and it's Dee Dee's anniversary too. That's awesome. Hey, 15 years is nothing to, that, that's to celebrate. That is awesome. Congratulations. Okay, so this is another stencil that I get from Essential Stencil. Again, use coupon code Texas Heidi. It keeps me in coffee and, um, and just energized to paint and create. So I'm gonna, and I love that you're hearting and celebrating. Um, 39 years, oh my gosh, we have a lot of, a lot of anniversaries. Okay, so I'm gonna use a little bit of red and I'm just gonna show you a little tip for this, okay? I'm gonna use a little bit of red and I'm just using a napkin. And remember, a lot of um, a lot of times people go, well, I can't do that because I don't have an art studio, or I can't, y'all, I am literally painting on a little side table right now, um, and that's it. So don't make like, well, I don't have a whole room. You know, before I had an art studio, which I'm very grateful for, um, I painted on the kitchen table for years, and then just pretty much anywhere I could. I've, I've used the floors in my house, you know, just wherever I could. You know, we, um, we lived in 800... Oh, that's fun. That might happen because you don't have a lot of space, but that's okay. Um, you know, we lived in an 800 square foot house for a long time and it was like, there was no room. I mean, I remember like we couldn't even um, put one of our side tables and when we opened our door in our bedroom, we could barely get in there um, because we had a king bed in this and it basically took up the whole entire room. And um, so whenever you are thinking about a place to paint, just find a place to paint. I promise you will um, you will not regret it. Okay, so here's some little leaves. Yes, I agree, Brenda. She says, just do it. <laughs> I missed where you are again. Did you say, Tamara? Oh, yes. So um, I'm actually on um, kind of like a girl's business trip right now. So we are um, all together with um, some of my, my friends that I actually met online. So that's why I think it's so important as you are building a business that you find people that are doing things like you're doing. So that's why I think I love Paint Party Headquarters so much because there's over 2,000 of y'all building your paint party business, online, in person, with art kits. And some of my favorite people I've met online, actually some of my favorite people I've met online are, are here with me. And so I'm gonna hold this down, and this is just a stencil. And again, I'm doing this on a magnetic bowl. Hey Annie, she says, painted on kitchen table when I started, then kicked hubby out of the basement and created my studio. <laughs> I love that. How many of y'all have a guest room that you use twice a year? Let me know. We, um, when we bought our house, our house before we have the one we have now, um, we had a lot of rooms, but it was funny because we used all of them. I mean, we're only a family of three, but this house, like when I saw it, I mean, I didn't care what the kitchen looked like. I didn't care what, I mean, I remember my cousin saying, what kind of countertops do you have? And I was like, I have no idea. Like I, all I cared about was that front room that was the formal dining room that I knew was gonna be my, my, my art studio. Like I didn't care what else was in that house. Like I just knew that room had this, I had this vision for it. And so um, we signed the papers for this house. This was the house we lived in um, a few years back. And when I walked in, I go, oh, they used the tile flooring for the counters. <laughs> and so I remember like texting my cousin. I was like, my counters are flooring. <laughs> and I don't even care because I just wanted that, that room. Um, because y'all know I don't cook. So I, I could care less about what the kitchen looked like. I just wanted that space. <laughs> All right, so I'm doing an ombre effect. Hopefully you can see this. I'm just doing a little bit of red 
And I'm using one of the stencil brushes from Essential Stencil. And then I'm just kind of pulling it up. So let me show you what that looks like. Just a little leaf. So we have marshmallows on the side and a little leaf here. So you can take this and actually just kind of repeat it throughout the process, okay? So I'm gonna do one more over here. Let me see if I can hold it. And again, give me a little grace. This is on a round magnolia bowl. So, and again, I wanted to show you as you're doing paint parties, it doesn't have to just be a blank canvas. It can be ceramics. And um, we have a lot of people that make a lot of money off of ceramics and um, where you do make and take, not even where you fire them. And I teach you all of that inside of Paint Party Headquarters. And you can do wood projects, you can do porch signs. There's just the, it's endless. It's endless on the, the things that you can do. And I want you to um, know that like, you know, maybe you're really good at doing a craft, but you're not so good at doing a canvas. We can still use all the things I'm teaching you to make that happen. Okay, so I'm gonna pull that up. All right, and let me put this under this little black piece so I don't get it everywhere. Let's see. Yeah, I think so too. I'm, I'm liking it too, thank you so much. I think I need to kind of clean this up though, just kind of going on the sides and you can just easily with a liner brush do a quick, kind of quick clean up. Just like that, but you could go crazy adding all kinds of things and then it would just be kind of something fun that you have. I um, either as a paint party or you could just make it and throw a bunch of marshmallows in there, which is what I'm gonna do for um, Pixie's party. So let's see, do you spray something over the paint? And you could, so there are some sprays at Lowe's and Home Depot that have, um, where they don't turn it yellow. So you can take one of those polyurethane sprays that don't turn it yellow. And um, Cindy says, I love this idea. Let me make sure there's no questions. Um, I've seen several who do so many different, so many different items and they look great. Yeah, that's the thing y'all, I want to remind you that again, paint parties, online, in person, or with art kits does not have to just be canvas. It can be any of these things. It can be, you know, magnolia bowls. And again, as you have repeating customers, you want to mix it up. And we have some really cool stuff that we just released in Paint Party Headquarters that I know is gonna be a huge hit um, this season. So any of y'all that are in Paint Party Headquarters, make sure you go, oh, what is going on with my earring? Sorry, squirrel. Make sure you go to the announcements inside Paint Pretty Headquarters. You're gonna see what I'm talking about. Um, and then anyone else, oh, and the stencils, if you wanna get those, um, just use coupon code Texas Heidi at Essential Stencil, you'll get a discount. And then anybody who wants to sign up for Paint Pretty Headquarters, you have, sorry, you have four days left. So you have to make a choice. If you wanna be a part of it, I would love to help you more. Um, we close the doors on Tuesday at midnight and then we won't open them up again until spring of 2020. So make sure you sign up because we're gonna be helping you with all your fall parties, your Christmas parties, we're starting strategy. And I also have a really cool challenge um, for everybody inside of Paint Party Headquarters where we're gonna be doing this really cool kind of give back. And I'm excited to tell you more about that. So for all of you inside of PPHQ, um, look for that. That's coming in the next week or so. Um, and I think it's it's going to be something really cool where we can feel like we're giving something back, but um, it's also going to help give you some confidence. All right. I hope y'all are doing great. I hope you enjoyed this quick little fun project. And again, if you have any questions, let us know. And um, all of y'all jumping into Paint Party Headquarters, I can't wait to help you more. All right. Y'all have a great day and I will talk to you soon.